Hey guys, and welcome back. We are getting ready to take a very special trip with our family. And so I wanted to bring you guys along as we pack and get ready for the trip so I could share some budget saving ideas to you guys. Also kind of show you how I get ready for trips so that I can lower my stress levels both on the trip and when we get back. And then of course, I'm going to share some amazing clips from our trip as well because it was truly very special and I would highly recommend it to anyone that wants to do an adventure with your family. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna talk a little bit about how we get ready to go on a trip, especially with having uh, chickens and the garden and everything like that. And the first thing is taking trips in the winter is a lot easier for us because things are a little less intense here. Um, the garden at this point is pretty self-sufficient with the cover crop, which for us this year was kale and collards. We've had enough rain that I'm not really worried about watering anything and it's actually been quite chilly, so I don't necessarily really want to water a whole bunch of things. The only thing I will do for the garden before we leave is just check on the plants that are under covers. So those would be carrots for us right now in our raised beds. And I will just make sure that they are wet enough for the next few days because they of course don't get any rain. The other thing that we will do for the chickens is we're just gonna get some extra food, some extra water in their coop. And then because we're only going to be gone a few days, my friend is gonna come and check on them while we're gone. So I always like to go ahead and get things prepped so that anyone that's coming to take care of our animals has the least amount of work possible. So in this case, I will make sure that I have an extra feeder filled up so that all she has to do is just swap out the feeders. Um, I'll have the water source ready so she can just fill up the waterers. And then I always leave egg cartons. Anyone that comes and takes care of our animals gets to keep all of the eggs. So we will be gone. Let's see, we're leaving Tuesday and we come home Friday. So she'll get a good three days worth of eggs when she comes and checks on the animals.
style that helps me to not be stressed while we are gone on vacation is to do a pretty big clean of the house um, before we leave. So I will do kind of the regular chores, but then I also always try to make sure to vacuum, mop, and get all of the laundry done so that when we get back, the only thing I have to do is the laundry from the trip. I don't come back to a messy house or tons of laundry to catch up on. chicken and vegetable soup. This will give us enough for dinner tonight, which is perfect because it's late night for us. We have karate. And then since we actually aren't leaving tomorrow until around lunchtime, um, we have a check-in time of like four o'clock, I think. Um, I will be able to have this for lunch as well. The flip side of this is that if we were going to leave early in the morning, what I would do is whatever we didn't finish tonight, I would go ahead, cool it, and I would put it in the freezer so that when we get home from our trip, I already have something prepared that I could just pop out of the freezer and thaw and we would be ready to go. So when we're packing food, this is sort of how I have to organize things. I start with what do I already have that I want to bring with us? And then I note like cookies and bread, those I put in a separate category because I know I need to make them. And then at the bottom, I put what do I need to go purchase from the store? Okay, so as you can see here, this is everything, well, almost everything that was on my list. I do have the refrigerated items, of course, in the refrigerator. But when we go on a trip, we usually like to cook breakfast and lunch um, at the cabin or wherever we're staying, if that's an option. And I also like to make sure that I am bringing snacks. And so this kind of gives me an option to clean out my cabinets. All of this was pulled either from stuff I had in the cabinets already or things that I had in my food storage area that I am currently trying to clean out and go through to make sure that nothing is expired and we're using everything that we've stored. So I was able to one, save a lot of money by bringing stuff with us, but also I was able to clean out some of the food items that we have had kind of in our cabinets or in our storage for a little bit. This saves us a lot of money because then all we have to do is go out to dinner. 
and we can just eat breakfast and lunch at home. So, or at the, at the cabin. So for us for breakfast, we'll be having eggs and I had bacon in my freezer already. Um, we'll be having coffee. I brought bread. I'm bringing butter and cinnamon and sugar so that we can have cinnamon toast. Um, they do have a toaster oven at the cabin and they also have a black stone. So we'll be able to cook bacon and eggs for lunch. We're just going to do sandwiches. Uh, we'll do ham and cheese sandwiches with some chips on the side. I brought some tea and some honey for the evenings when we're hanging out and also hot chocolate. The boys love hot chocolate. We forgot to get milk when we ran to the store because I did need to get some sliced cheese and coffee creamer. Um, I didn't have those things to bring with us. So I had canned milk. So we're going to bring this to use with our hot chocolate. Logan doesn't care about doing hot chocolate with water. Kevin does not like hot chocolate with water. He only likes it with milk. So I've got this and this was a great um, long-term storage prep I had. It needs to get used. So it's a great use for that. Um, I made cookies and I made bread. So we have dessert options instead of spending extra money. I brought apples and peanut butter for snacks. Um, just some other spices, stuff that we like to drink. So ultimately we're going to save a ton of money, but the kids still get some treats because we don't have chips and stuff like that every single day while we're home. So this is going to be kind of a treat for them as well as making some room in my cabinets.